So you replaced a spinning hard drive in your computer with an NVMe SSD. And its performance is night and day, right? However, have you noticed your shiny new SSD might be overheating like crazy? Greetings from Savvy Layman. I discovered that ASIC controllers of some NVMe SSDs could run quite hot. That is more than I'm comfortable with. The actual NAND memory chips are usually fine, and as a matter of fact, they even like to run a bit warmer. On the other hand, ASIC controllers do suffer. Not all NVMe drives encounter this issue, but in general, the faster the drive is, the higher the chance it's going to be affected. I have six different M.2 NVMe SSDs at my disposal. I ran a few tests to see how the drives would do when performing read and write operations with large files. None of the drives contained an integrated heatsink, but, spoiler alert, only two of the listed SSDs manifested the aforementioned overheating behavior. To be fair though, the other four SSDs only provided a single drive temperature reading in hardware info, and it was most likely the average temperature of the NAND chips. Their ASIC controllers might have been running hotter, but who could tell? We will therefore only have a look at Crucial P1, as well as Samsung 980, both of which are 1TB PCIe Gen 3 drives. Crucial P1 is based on Micron 64-layer 3D QLC NAND and Silicon Motion SM2263 controller. It also comes with 1 gig DRAM cache as well as dynamic SLC cache. Its official video ad is, as expected, full of marketing nonsense, but they at least don't make the impression that drive runs cool or whatever. This is unfortunately not the case with Samsung. Just look at their website. I mean, dude. Samsung 980 uses an in-house 128 letter VNAND TLC and an in-house Pablo controller. It comes with a dynamic SLC cache, but it lacks a DRAM cache. I use Crucial P1 in a laptop, which is likely the worst case scenario in terms of thermals. You can clearly see the drive struggles big time. Unfortunately, there is not much one can do to improve SSD temps inside a laptop. There is simply not enough space to install an aftermarket heatsink. If you therefore plan to add a new NVMe SSD into your laptop, do your homework and read the reviews to ensure you do not burn your fingers. Samsung 980 is installed in my desktop PC, which I also use to edit this video. See, if I leave this SSD running without a heatsink, its ASIC controller's temperature is a runaway train. Please note, all testing of this drive was done in a desktop case with reasonable airflow at the ambient temperature of about 20 degrees centigrade. Let's see if I can make this overheating NVMe SSD run a bit cooler. In this exercise, I like to do a round of tests. First, with a simple one-sided NVMe heatsink, which came with the motherboard. Then, with an aftermarket EKA branded heatsink installed. The EK heatsink came in this unimpressive box. But hey, I didn't buy it because the retail packaging looked fancy, right? Honestly, I expected the heatsink to be a bit bigger, but I think it'll do the job just fine. I need to cut the provided thermal pads to the right size and install the heatsink according to the enclosed instructions. difference in drive temperatures is massive. Samsung's ASIC controller ran about 25 degrees cooler when the aftermarket heatsink was installed. What else to add? It's clear the smaller and faster the NVMe drives become, the hotter they run. Even if the NAND chips do not reach 70 degrees centigrade, it's definitely not healthy to let ASIC controller boil water. It's certainly silly some manufacturers do not include a heatsink with these faster SSDs, but Samsung's misleading claim about reliable thermal control, it's a bad joke. Bottom line, you are always better off using heatsinks with any NVMe SSDs. 
The decrease of temperature certainly has a positive impact on the drive's lifespan as well as performance. And the cheapest heat sinks can be had literally for a few bucks, so there's no excuse for not using them. As always, thank you very much for watching. Like, share or even subscribe and have a nice one.